Daddy! Oh, it's actually recording. <laughs> We're gonna get to work today. Let's unhook this manure spreader. We're gonna try to unhook this new grinder that we got a couple weeks ago. So we'll see if that works, but let's get to unhooking this manure spreader. That cover. <laughs> Works good, don't it? God <laughs> damn. Yeah, you fuck that stuff. You did. You did. Well, this is ready to sit for a couple of days. Until Jeff wants to haul manure. Huh? So you want to haul manure. Yeah, buddy. You have to do that. You know. Got old Red fired up, started right up. So let's get her backed up and hooked up to the uh, to the grinder over here, right, Jeff? Yeah. Zip tie on the <laughs> on one of them. Yeah. Put them all in the <laughs> same way. Whether it be all right or all wrong. I'm gonna go. Zip tie on the right. That's it. You have to open it up. You'll need to do that first before you flip the back forward. Put the bale in there. That'll kind of be your process. One, two, three. Everything might go boom. Yeah. Oh, it might be raining. Might turn it, it on. It'll all go kabam, and we'd be done. Might be down to go. That could be blow up. Might be long. <laughs> See what's that handle right there? Kabam! Yeah, the red light. Think she's gonna run? Don't get blow up. <laughs> 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 Went and got the cure for everything. Let's see if this will help. Yeah, right. What'd you break that for? You broke it. You me. broke it. I did not. You broke it. Shop manager's failing his job. I got you fired. You're fired. Out of here. Out of here. We got her back on, so let's see if it'll work. Okay.
there's a start probably couldn't see much it's pretty dusty that just tells you how dry this hay is and uh but no pretty good buy right there we had a little trouble there at the beginning but like we always have around here if everything is going right it ain't going right around here because there's always something wrong but that looks pretty damn good so i call that a success well with the hay ground and everything like that which that worked really good we're gonna hook onto the we're already hooked up but we're gonna we're gonna start the orange truck with the dump trailer and go get us a load of gluten so something new to us so we're gonna we're gonna take you on for a ride and it's our first time being there so you're gonna learn just like we are but let's go see if the orange truck's gonna start now just like every time we'll pop the hood check the oil kind of do a little pre-chip before we get going here So here again, real quick uh, pre-trip, just kind of look to see if your belts are good. Of course, we'll check the oil. Just make sure everything's kind of good there visually. We'll go around here. Another big thing is checking if you got antifreeze up here. And you can just kind of look, make sure there ain't any oil anywhere around here. And just make sure your belts are tied up front. But kind of a quick little pre-trip and we should be good. Again, just make sure everything is plugged in and, and tight. We should be good. Should be good to go there. Legs are up. And I know this tire is it's flat, but we'll we'll air that up. Make sure all these tires are good. We'll let the air build up in the truck before we before we release the brakes and start adding adding air here but so it looks like we're pretty good there let's let the we're gonna let the truck build air and then we'll we'll put the air supply to the trailer and it should air it up and release the brakes so there you can kind of hear it it's kind of releasing the or putting the air in the air tank so that's what that's what we're that airbag up and then of course there's two on your main axle right there that should air up too so we'll get them aired up and get that tire aired up and put our license plate on
building. Where's the hoop building? The one that we drove past. They don't have a hoop on top of it? She says, nope, go to the hoop building and go to the first driveway on the south and then come in headed north. That's what you thought, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's the, I don't think it's the building that I was where you can see What's it. that? Yeah, see, I don't think, I think they got it underneath the roof. And then we got to come in here and scale out. Oh, building. finally found the place big old pile of gluten so we're gonna wait till someone comes and loads us Got us loaded up. We'll go back to the scale, get weighed there, and hopefully get headed home. That looks pretty good. Look at that. Pretty close, ain't that he? That's perfect. We weigh 79. We're legal. Get the tarp rolled here and headed back to Illinois. So. I'll see you guys when we're unloading. How was that for not knowing where we were going? Not bad. <laughs> heard, heard stories from everybody coming in and saying you gotta drive in circles about three times to get it, but that wasn't too bad. <laughs> so, we're good to go. We'll see you guys back in Illinois. outside but we're there no that's gonna be a new thing around here is hauling our own feed it's kind of new to us because we always had someone else do it so it's gonna be it's gonna be good because that that's pretty easy to get into as you guys seen there and uh, 
easy to dump it here with this new dump trailer. So we're gonna finish loading this silage up right here. It's cold outside, so I ain't gonna step outside, but there you can see dad loading it up. We'll get a couple of loads into the dump trailer and back over to our feed pit over there. And we will officially be good to good to go for a while. And and it's kind of nice because we've been having to drive over here and get our get our silage. So to have all our feed over in one spot will be it it works really good for us. So let's get it moved over there. So here we're gonna start the maintenance on the mowers. Been sitting in here. We'll try to get this one going and in the zero turn going. We're waiting on a water pump for that one. And then of course this one, it's got some tires that are flat and maybe need to replace, but we'll start changing oil in these two and get them fully going. And we'll worry about the next two some other time. Took the air filter out. I think she's a little full, gained a couple pounds too. I don't think that baby's been cleaned all, all summer. So we'll change that and that'll be, that'll be step number one. Actually the wheels feel good. Next is the fuel filter, which sits right in there. We'll pop, screw that off, pop it off, and, and add the new one inside. Next we'll drain the oil, take the plug out of it and replace the filter. Alright, got the new filter on. Now it says that you need three of these, but we'll start, we'll dump one in at a time. Right there, get it full, we'll air up the tires and this one this will be ready to sharpen the blades and go. Check the antifreeze, we're a little dry, so we'll add some antifreeze too. We're gonna blow that out, that usually gets full of dirt. These side panels come off just like that. There's a little protective shield in there. You'll pull the protective shield out, stick the air hose out there. That just lets the air get to the radiator to keep the motor cool. But we got the oil changed, air filter changed, fuel filter changed, charged the batteries, aired up the tires, all we got left is sharpen the blades and we should be should be good to go. So let's get this engine hoist over here. We'll jack it up and we'll be good to go to sharpen the blades.
So on these lawn mowers, they got little knobs here that set your deck, set the height of your deck. So it stays out of the dirt and stays out of the mud there. And what dad's welding on right there is this one. All it did was break the wheel off. And of course we got an extra one sitting here, but it must be too big here to go inside. So we're gonna do what we do best and throw her back together. All right, the blades are sharpened, back on. Now yeah, you're probably asking, why not just get new blades? Well, we're kind of cheap, and we're gonna reuse them here right off the start because of all the, all the rocks and the sticks right off the bat. We'll just tear up the new blades, but hey, they'll do the job once sharpened, so we should be good there. There we go, new, new battering started right up. We'll turn the blades on here. So there we go, one mower down. We got three more to go. We should be good. We'll bring it back in and put some new blades on. The first couple times it runs, it ruins them. So that's the only other thing we got. We should be good there for mower number one. All right guys, that should do it for this video. We got kind of everything into one here. So we should be good to go mower wise and feed wise. So we worked on some junk and, and Looking pretty good around here. The weather's getting better, so hopefully we can get in the field, get to planting. It's almost April 1st, so spring has arrived and we're, we're looking pretty good. We just gotta let the rain hold off and everything like that. So I just wanna end this video with, we just reached around 600 subscribers. So thank you guys, we really can't, we do this for you guys. We're doing it, we're showing you how we do things. It's not a how-to video or anything like that. It's just how we do things around the farm, how what we think is right. We're just trying to do it the best way we think is right. So like that, we say thank you and uh, keep on keeping on baby, let's go.